Hey everyone, this is Joe over at Synergy 17, and today I'm going to show you how um, I made my Oakland A shirt a few months back. Some people asked me, it was a little bit of a mixture of foils and text tack and some HTV. And um, so I decided this time, since my A's, are, my A's never made it to the playoffs and the Giants just uh, lost, I, I'll go with my third favorite team, which is the Dodgers. So here, here we go. So, um, just using a couple simple things. Here's the Dodgers logo that I just kind of transformed a little bit, made a little bit of arced a little bit. So, and then I took their other LA logo. This you can probably find on plenty of clip art sites. I it was uh, it was a font, and I don't remember what font it was, but at the end of the font, when you hold shift and hit some number, it had a lot of different uh, um, clip art pieces. So I just grabbed this one. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take these simple pieces and center them here. Then I'm going to combine these guys, and then I want to put a contour on it. 0.9 is perfectly fine, and that's how I want it to look. This here, I want two of these guys. I'm going to flip him around, get them aligned perfectly, and I want them about a little bit closer, um, maybe a little bit closer. And then I'm going to combine them, center them. So basically, that's what my design is going to be like. I'm going to make these guys white. And that's what I'm going to uh, cut out. So, one thing is because my blue and white here, let me separate. Oops, no, let me separate this. Oops, sorry about that. I meant to. break my curve. I want to keep my blue separate from my white. What I need to do is I need to overlap just a tad and um, this way when I put my vinyl down it'll cover any gaps uh, due to shrinkage. So what I want to do is I'm going to have this blue right here. I'm going to contour it again. I'll go to wireframe so you can see what's happening. I'm going to contour it again but this time not as much you'll see a line start to emerge there. You can see it right let's see as it does this. You can see it right there. I, that's all I want to do. I just want to just underlap a little bit. So it's good enough for me. I'm going to break this. So just so you can see what that looks like, I'll make it a light blue. So that way you can see where it is right here. So what I want to do is I want to take this blue piece here and um, what I want to do is I want to punch it through this white piece and then I'm going to use this light blue as the dark blue so I, it kind of doesn't make sense but let me let me show you how, how it looks. Let me make it red or something so you can see the difference. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this blue, this white, and I'm going to say front minus back and what it did was it pushed the blue through the white. So now I'm just going to bring the white and I'm going to bring it on top and you'll see that it looks just like it was before but you'll see that the red right here slips under the white just a tad. So that way when I do this um, I won't have a gap there. So take this and I'm ready to go cut it. I'm going to cut the blue uh, in text tack. I'm going to cut the white, all this white in Thermoflex Plus and I'm going to make myself a t-shirt. Okay, what we've done so far is cut the text tech out and weed it, and then cut some Thermoflex out and weed that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to press down with the, um, the text tech, we're going to put some foil over it, and then cover it with the Thermoflex. So text tech is 300 degrees at about 5 seconds. And it's a hot slash warm peel, so you can peel it right off. And for this design, I'm going to go with a cobalt blue instead of royal blue, or cobalt blue. And I'm going to distress it by crinkling it up and uh, using a silver rainbow uh, inside of it. So all you're going to do is take this here, and we're going to crumple it out. 
And the more crumpling you do, of course, the more distressed it looks. So we'll lay this on top here. This one I'm only going to do for about seven seconds or so. But the thing about foil is you need to make sure that it is cold before you peel it. So what I like to do is I like to take a rhinestone scooper, kind of go over it to help cool it down. And then I want to take silver, make sure I got it all off, I'll place this over here, I'm going to press this one for about another, say about like another five, six, seven seconds. the same thing. I want to cool it off. And now the last thing that I want to do is cover it with the thermal flex. So as we know we've talked about this before in other videos that the more you press foil the more luster it loses. Um, for some colors such as solid colors I don't have a problem but this one is, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a, a holographic silver in it. That holographic might lose a little bit of its uh, rainbow shine but for me it's okay. So now that we have this one placed over it, the thermal flex, we're going to press this one some more. Even though it's supposed to go for somewhere between 17 and 20 seconds, I'm just going to go for about 14 seconds. Here is my finished product. So, as you can see, it was pretty easy. Um, cut some text tack, um, cut some uh, Thermoflex or whatever HTV you use, and then crinkle up the foil to get the distress look. Put the second foil on it, then cover it with Thermoflex and press it again. And that's about it.